hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to share with you how i made this flavorful and colorful jollof and you will love this recipe so if you want to see how i made it please watch this video to the end and if you are new to this channel i am hirat and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for this recipe you will need some chicken and here i'm using basmati rice tomatoes tomato paste onion and for my spices i have jollof seasoning seasoning cube bay leaf curry powder and all pepper seasoning and next i have pepper ginger garlic cooking oil salt to taste red bell pepper coriander seeds and some common seeds so in a blend i'm going to add my tomatoes red bell pepper and i'm going to blend until it is smooth and nice and i'll transfer it into a saucepan and allow it to cook till all the water is dried up so guys here i forgot to remove the seeds from the red bell pepper so don't repeat my mistake next i'll add my onions into a blender and prepare ginger and garlic and my other spices and i'll blend them also so it is smooth and in a saucepan i'll add my chicken and then add the blended onions and the other ingredients onto it i'll add some chicken seasoning seasoning cube and salt to taste i'll give it a good stir cover it and allow it to cook for seven to ten minutes so after it is cooked i'll remove the chicken and save the stock for later use In a saucepan, I'll add my cooking oil or vegetable oil. And here you can use coconut oil or any oil of your choice. I'll then fry my chicken. So here my chicken was very messy. It got teared up and it has to end up in the oven. So next I'll add my blended onion into the oil I used to fry the chicken. And here I'll allow it to fry for three to five minutes. And oh, guys, the aroma alone will tell you this jello rice will taste very good. And next, I'll add my tomato paste and make sure you stir it very well for everything to be mixed properly. Jollof rice requires a lot of stirring, so don't be bored when it gets to the stirring part. So here, I'll allow it to fry for 10 to 15 minutes, but make sure to be stirring it from time to time to avoid you from getting a burnt steel. And next, I'll add my already cooked tomato with my red bell pepper. And I'll stir once again. And I'll allow it to fry for another five to seven minutes. So this is the perfect time for me to add my spices. And I added everything. Stirred it. And I'll allow it to fry for seven to ten minutes. So after that, I'll add my basmati rice. 
So I'll stir it for everything to be mixed well. Next, I'll add my chicken stock. And add a little water. Jollof rice doesn't need a lot of water. It just needs heat and small amount of water. And you are good to go. So I'll cover it with a foil paper. Because we need a lot of heat here. So after 7 to 10 minutes, I'll come back and check if the rice is doing good. Because I don't want the rice to get burnt. So I'll stir it. Just see how the jollof is looking already. Though it's not cooked yet. So I'll cover it once again. And come back and check after 5 minutes. Remember I told you jollof rice needs a lot of stirring. <laughs> so stir it again. And here, if you are not okay with the consistency, you can sprinkle a little of water. I'll cover it again for five to seven minutes. After that, I'll come back and check and my jollof rice is ready. And here, I want to garnish my jollof rice before I enjoy it. I got a round bowl and as you can see what I'm doing, yeah, I'm flattening it into the round bowl for it to give me a nice shape and I'll transfer it onto my plate. And here I had a coleslaw. My coleslaw is only cabbage. I wasn't having carrots at hand. And my half baked and half fried chicken is here with the green shitter i made already and you'll find that video on my channel and guys this jollof tasted so good and you need to try this recipe please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get you notified anytime i drop a new video until my next video bye bye